Don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park. She's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Well, hi there, Trailer Park fans. It's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen. And welcome to the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. And welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, this is the 25 Days of Trailer Park Christmas. And if you've been to my website, trailerparkchristmas.com, you can get a free calendar to follow along. And I've been releasing a recipe every day since the 1st of December and I look right here and including today there's about 11 days until Trailer Park Christmas so that's not long at all and I see today's recipe is pizza bread made with beer and I know that it's just an easy way to make it and um, it might not be for children I, there's been studies that say that it burns off I don't know but it's great when unexpected guests drop by and you've got to fix something for them in the pizza parlor's clothes. And this is just a great snack bread that uses beer. And it's just a great little thing that you can pull right out of your trailer park kitchen and just surprise your guest. It's my beer pizza bread up next on the trailer park cooking show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my pizza bread is really simple. Grab a bowl because you're going to hand mix this and you'll need some beer. So run into your party, grab somebody with a beer in their hand and just take it right out of their hand because you're going to need that to make the crust. So then I've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm going to put that in my bowl just like that. To the one and a half cups of flour, I'm going to put one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That goes right on in there just like that. And you could probably sift it. It probably would make it a lot better, but I don't have the time for that. My guests are hungry, and we've got to get this ready with this. Next, we need a half teaspoon of salt. So I've got that ready. So a half teaspoon of salt goes right on in there. And then we're going to mix that around so that it's well mixed. Um, mixing that together. Next up, you'll need the beer. You could use all sorts of kinds of beers for this. You might get different flavors out of it, but this just gives a nice kind of multi flavor to the bread. And we need three fourth cups. So this is how the magic starts. So we'll put the three fourth cup right on in there. Just like that. Now with your three fourth cup beer, you're gonna mix it lightly with the flour mixture just a little bit until it's a little moist with the beer. Now you'll need an 8 inch baking pan that you've sprayed down. Look at that! It made a nice little dough ball and now we're going to put that in the pan. You're going to have to fidget with it and push it out to the sides. There we go. We pushed our dough out in the pan just like that. Now you can get your guests involved and have them top it, or you can do it yourself and just do it in a jiffy in the oven. I preheated the oven to 425 degrees. Now we're going to add a half cup of tomato sauce, and this is actually pasta sauce that I'm using, my favorite kind. It's just like a vegetable one, and we're going to put that right on top of the crust mixture just like that. Right on top. There we go. Now you'll need about a half cup of mozzarella cheese. And I've used the cheater's way out and I've got the pre-shredded kind. And you know, you can never go wrong with cheese. So I'm not even gonna measure it. We're just gonna put some on top of our mixture, just like that. I like lots of cheese. So let's put that on top, just like that. All right. Now at this point, you can do things like maybe some pepperoni or maybe some bacon up on top or I've got a, a basil leaf plant here in the kitchen. I'm going to snip off a few of these and put that up on top. 
but this is really where you can get your party guests involved and have them top this pizza bread with things you've got in your fridge and your cabinets already. So I'm going to start decorating the top of mine. Okay, I finished topping my pizza bread here and I put basil leaves on it and turkey pepperoni and peppered bacon and of course the mozzarella cheese and my favorite sauce on it. Now it goes in the oven at 425 degrees for about 15 to 20 minutes and you can use the toothpick test to make sure it's ready to take out too. So go ahead and put that in now. Set your timer. And there you have it, my pizza bread. And look at that bread. Who would have thought that beer would have made that? But we topped it with our turkey uh, pepperoni and some peppered bacon and the mozzarella. And like I said, you could add any toppings that you want to yours. You could get your party involved too with the toppings too. But it really is a great little snack that you can make, especially when the pizza parlor closes for the night and you've still got guests over. But I can't wait to try this. Let's try it. It's super cheesy, and the tomato sauce mm, is my favorite. You can use your own, and the bacon, and the, the, the basil leaves, and wow, this sure is great, and it surely is filling too. Mm. I hope you get a chance to make my pizza bread, and if you do, Send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. Add me as a friend on Google+. Plus. You can find me there. I guess you could say friend. It's plus or whatever it is. Just plus that button and you can find me there. But this is just a great recipe and it will surely make your holidays bright. I've got a show every day until the 25th. So be sure to check back and subscribe. I love you all, and I'll see you back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye. in the Bye. double wide. Is it my store at jolinesugarbaker.com?